The Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy is all set to induct the indigenous Indian Tejas. You're watching the Lesma Cockpit where we discuss all the military machines without any bias. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe now. Now in my previous video, if you watched, I had talked about the induction of the Rafale in the Indian Air Force and potentially Indian Navy as well. Still unsure about that. Now we were looking at the lightweight category fighters. That is the single engine fighter jets for the Indian Air Force to replace the aging MiG-21. Now, not talking of the Mirage 2000 and MiG-29s that still have a long way to go. The idea was to replace the backbone fighters, not to be confused with the air superiority fighters like the Rafale and the Su-30 MKIs with the future upgrades. That is, the MKIs with the future upgrades. What I was saying and what I was thinking about uh, or after the Rafal deal was that the Indian government would definitely pick out of all the lightweight category fighters, the single engine category fighters, the Saab Gripen. Now, one of the reasons uh, for a second European fighter platform that would have made it easier to integrate in the Indian Air Force uh, the two aerial machines to the European ammunition, radar, EWs, AWACS, and everything. I, I mean, it would have been an integration of some, this, uh, some of the same European platforms. But the government of India uh, just thrust that Tejas on the Indian Air Force first, despite their reservations and despite the rejection of the Indian Navy. Uh, they may be getting the same machine for their aircraft carrier. I will, I will make another dedicated video on the shortcomings of the Tejas. But come on, summarily, it is an aircraft of the late 70s design without any canards and with the Delta wings. I mean, how many aircrafts that you see in, in modern air forces, uh, apart from the 60s Mirage 3 and 5 that have got the Delta wings but no canards. You, you cannot even conceive of a design with a delta wing but without any canards but the lca is just that it is it is all delta wing with no canard and it restricts its, its maneuverability uh, the engineers hired by the government of india from the desalt in the 80s spending a hundred million dollars gave you just a mini version of the original mirage 3 and 5 uh, so that was the design limitation. Yeah, it was good enough for the early 80s. But then as research told us that you have you have to give the canards along with the del Delta wings. But other than that, it's going to restrict the aircraft. They just is a Delta wing high drag, small aircraft with less maneuverability and ability to carry the armament than most of the Indian YouTubers shall tell you. The only thing it may do well with its huge Batman wings and without a canard is uh, to perform better high alphas in the air shows, nothing more. And above all, yes, if you search for the smallest single engine fighter jet in the world, you should find Tejas uh, in the Google search. Now that, that's, that's nowhere dignified. Yes, it has IRST, it is powered by General Electric F404 engine, HMDs, Derbys, R73 missiles, etc. But it has no canard, which is a feature of all modern Delta Wing fighter jets. Inadequate payload and range, maintenance issues, its internal jammer technology issue. So uh, we should continue this discussion in the other video. So I, if you like the video, do subscribe do like do support and uh, your support uh, it keeps me going and we are going to continue with the series thank you so much uh, that's all from adil azmat cockpit for today